Okay, so in this question, here's you, you, the observer, dropping your alarm clock out the dorm window. It is 15.0 metres above the ground. Now, your velocity is not changing, and you're the observer. The velocity of sound is 343. So to work out the change in frequency, we're not going to need to know the velocity of the source just before it hits the ground. So to do that, we'll need to use some of the mechanics equations. We can use V squared is equal to V naught squared plus 2A times the displacement. So in this case, it's in the Y direction. So initially, the alarm clock has no velocity. So we're assuming you just drop it. You haven't thrown it towards the ground. So this is 2 times 9.8, which is the acceleration, times 15. If we take downwards as the negative direction, then this 15 is in the negative direction and this 9.8 is also negative, so the negative signs will cancel each other out. And so the velocity squared is equal to 294, and so the velocity of the source just before it hits the ground is 17.146 metres per second. Now, if the source and the observer are moving towards each other, the observed frequency is equal to V plus V naught over V minus Vs F. In this case, the observer has no velocity and the source is actually moving away from our observer. So we're going to have to change this to a positive sign. And so F dash is equal to 343 over 343 plus 17.146 times the initial frequency, which was the 600Hz. So solving that on the, your calculator, you end up with 571 hertz. So it's a lower frequency as the wavefronts are more spaced out when they hit you.